Hi, 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 yes, it's me, I'm here, I am back again. And if you remember the last time I wore this outfit, well, you deserve a medal for still being here. Yeah, I wore this back in like my third video I ever posted on this channel. It was like a little Pusheen unboxing. I will link it above for you guys. But you know, it just seems like such a long time ago, and I guess it kind of was. I feel like I blinked and now there's 3,000 of us here. I had been keeping my eye on the numbers, not looking too closely, just kind of casually observing. And I was like, I've got a while before I'm gonna hit 3K. And then bam, you guys just showed up while I was looking away. So if you're new, thank you for being here. I hope you're enjoying your time on the channel. And if you have been here for a long time, thank you so much for sticking around. And uh, let's get into some more of the new content I've been really excited to make for you guys. And the reason I'm excited is because it's all just a bunch of stuff that I need to unbox. Items that I have bought for myself, items that have been bought for me, or like in today's video, items that have been generously sent to me by a very kawaii creator. So Coco Kuma is a creator that I have actually spoken about before. They have an incredibly cute shop over on Etsy. I will of course have them linked down below. They're honestly my favorite kawaii creator right now when it comes to cute pastel items that can either be worn casually or with Lolita. They have such an amazing variety of items and they're all just so unique and cute. And I have been very lucky to be very generously sent some new pieces from their Calico Cat collection, which I will be sharing with you guys today. So just to be clear, these items were sent to me by the shop owner. I did not pay for them, purchase them in any way. They just sent them to me so that I could share them with you guys, um, give you a look at the quality, what I think of them, and uh, that's what we're going to be doing together today. So I hope that's cool with you. So I have a few items to un bag for you guys. I know this is an unboxing and usually that means there's a box. However, comma, when I got this box in the mail, I had completely forgotten. And so I was like, oh, uh oh, what did I buy for myself and then forget about? And it was these. So I technically boxed them already, but I've left them in their packaging. I was very good. I've been sitting on this for weeks. But now it's time. So first I wanna start with what's in this bag right here. There are actually two items, but I'm only gonna be showing you guys one of them right now. And that is this adorable calico cat patterned cardigan. And of course I had to, you know, wear my little cat vest to try this on with. Okay, so here it is. So first of all, look at this cute little paw print on the front here, and then there is a big one on the back. Um, I think this shade of pink is perfect. It's my personal favorite shade of pink. It's like a really like soft bubble gum. God, this cardigan is very soft. Oh, and I do love that it comes with a little extra button here, and the buttons on the front are hearts. How cute is that? All right, so let me just slip this on real quick. Ooh, ooh, that's cozy. Oh, so something I just noticed now that I put this on, the cuffs have this super cute little scalloping on them. Okay, so I will do like a full, I'll turn you guys to the side so you can see what's going on here. But the length of the cardigan on me is like right about at my hips here. I think it is the perfect length. And usually I don't roll the sleeves on my cardigans. I like them a little baggy here, but you can even roll the sleeves up. Um, and the inside just looks just as cute. Oh, and the little like scallops against the cat print. So stinking cute. So obviously as summer is coming up in the South, I won't be able to wear this um, until the fall most likely, but I'm so excited to have this waiting in my closet for me. It is definitely very warm, but I think it will be perfect for the fall. Um, I love this. Okay, so next item is this. You can see in the packaging, it is a cat paw Eta bag. Now, as you may or may not know, one of the most popular videos on my channel is actually me putting together some Eta bags. I will link that video up above for you guys. I have not made an Eta bag since that video, so I am so excited to have this. <sighs> an excuse to buy more cat enamel pins. <laughs> okay, so first of all, this bag is fully like fur. Every surface on this bag is fuzzy and soft. 
I think the proportions are perfect, like the shapes of the little patches are so cute. I think the colors are excellent. I have been seeing this color all over the place. It reminds me of like orange sherbet. And then of course you have the little um, zipper here to pull open the window for little enamel pins, or um, I have a plan of what I'm gonna do with this, so I'll probably take this out. But yeah, it gives you options. That's where your little enamel pins go. And the zipper is a heart. How cute. Oh my God, and the little, the little beans are squishy. They're like stuffed and soft. She thinks of everything, doesn't she? Oh my gosh, I just realized that they put a bunch of other little goodies in here for me. What? What is this? Oh, no, you guys, it's is a pop socket of the cat paw and it has little shaky stuff inside and it's like squishy. It's got like liquid in it. It's a little pop socket. Oh, 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 this is great. What else do they put in here for me? Oh, oh my gosh. These are little cat paw hair clips and look at the little hardwares on the back. Unbelievable. Okay, um, well, I. I clearly have to wear these. You didn't have to do all that. These are so stinking cute. The material is kind of like soft and curly almost. These are unbelievably cute. Y'all are giving me a whole outfit. Okay, looks like there's one other extra thing in here. Oh. ears. I, I don't know that I can fit anything else on my head, but okay, these are so insanely cute. You know, I've had the same pair of cat ears, you know, the ceremonial cat ears. I've had the same pair of cat ears since I started Lolita like six years ago. And let me tell you, they are on their last leg. Paw, this could not be more perfect. Look at how pretty and nicely ruffled the fabric is, the bells are not annoying and look how oh, look how poony these ears are and the fabric is soft too i am going to treasure these thank you so much and also i'm sure you can find these items in their shop which is again linked down below okay so here we have the strap for the bag it's got two little hooks here on the top so let me just um construct this Okay, so I do love that the strap is adjustable. Um, I'm only five foot two, so having to adjust purse straps usually includes me like punching a bunch of new holes in a strap like this. So let's see how this sits on um, my 12 year old size body. Okay, so I did adjust it up a couple um, positions, depending on how you like it. If you're around 5'2", I would suggest pulling it up just a little bit. But first of all, I wanna say that the fabric of this strap is so soft and nice quality. I always get afraid when I go to adjust things like this and it has um, this like little buckle implement back here. I'm always afraid that using this is gonna flake off the coloring on the strap and that did not happen at all. Very nice quality. Oh yeah, but here is where it sits on me. It's like right at my hip. This is where I like to have my bags here. So I really wanna show you guys the whole outfit, but I do need to put something in here. Let me go grab some items. So I have the most perfect little Pusheen keychains to go in there and orange and a lavender to match the spots on the purse. Let's hope I can stuff these chunky little guys in there and have it look super cute. <laughs> okay, so it worked and it's really cute. Look at them in there. They're like the perfect shade of orange and lavender. Oh, I'm so excited. So here is the outfit I put together. I don't necessarily think my pinks match, but please look the other way or pretend you do not see because this is what you should be looking at. How cute is this whole combination? Can you believe the paw print on the back? Are you kidding me? You know, interestingly, I was actually just about to try to sell this Pusheen dress, but now that I have all these accessories together, I think she's allowed to stay. But yeah, I could not be happier with how this cardigan has turned out to fit and look and wear and be warm and go, okay, well, we're good. Technical difficulties. With this especially, the purse, I cannot wait to wear out. I need to get more of this orange in my wardrobe so that I can match it with more stuff. 
More reason to go shopping. Thank you so much, Coco Kuma. But wait, that's not all. Yes, there is one more item that I still have to show you. So let's go back to the sofa here and check out what's left in the bag. Well, 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 look who decided to wander into my den of horrors. Ollie, Ollie, they've been asking about you, honey. Can you believe it? You're a star. The camera's over there, baby. He's shy. Say hi to everyone, baby. Say hello. Say hello. You're embarrassing me in front of my friends. See, if all he's interested in, you see this back here? Yeah, straight down the throat. He runs out of this room and it's like trailing behind him. I have to like pull it. It's a whole mess. Welcome to the channel. Okay, so the final item I have is, okay, well, Oliver just decided to almost knock the camera over. If you saw that it was not an earthquake, it was my cat. And speaking of cat, we have one more cat themed item that Kokokuma sent me in that package. And this, this is a cat paw apron. But it's a little white apron with pink toe beans. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. I'm a different person now. I, I make my own home baked organic cat treats. Did you hear that, Ollie? They're organic. Okay, so I need to let Oliver out because he's about to fully knock the camera over. And also, as cute as this apron is with this dress, I think I want to put on something else a little more special to truly show it off. So I'll be right back. Help, help, there's been a murder because this has killed me. So this is like my final form. This is like how I would like to be buried. I want these to be my eternal and everlasting ghost clothes. So when I come to haunt you, expect this. So if you've recently been here listening to me complain and whine about things I want, um, an apron like this was at the top of the list. I cannot believe how cute it is and how perfect it goes with this dress. Like I just slipped it up right under the bow and it could not be more perfect. It is the perfect size. Cause when I look at aprons, um, Angelic Pretty has so many cute ones. When I look at the aprons, I worry that they're gonna like cover the print. Look, it could not be more perfect. And I feel like a lot of prints stay around the same area of the hem of the dress. So this should work with a bunch of different prints. <sighs> okay, let me show you this whole outfit. You deserve to see the whole thing. Okay, so I pushed the lights back a bit, so hopefully the beautiful white of this apron does not get totally blasted out. But here is the whole outfit I have on the little apron from Coco Kuma and the ears as well. I think they go super cute together too, and I, I feel like this dress was made to go with this apron, to be honest. Um, this is an absolutely perfect outfit. I feel like this is what I wish to look like in my head all the time. So please do not perceive me in any other way but this. Thank you so much. And there's a decent amount of strap back here as well. So this would definitely fit um, a bunch of different sizes. I could not recommend it more, frankly. Why are you still here? You should go be buying one right now. Okay, bye. Guys, if you want to get your hands on any of these absolutely adorable pieces from Coco Kuma, please check out their website down below. Even if you don't need to buy anything right now, just go look and appreciate the art and creativity they've got going on over there. It's so cute. I think their stuff is really inspiring and I feel so lucky to have some pieces of theirs in my collection now. I know they have some really cute pieces coming out soon, as always, so also go check out their Instagram, which I will link below as well. And also, it's just nice to support a small business within our community. So go over there, go get inspired, lose some of your money, but have a great time overall. I hope you did enjoy this unboxing with me, and I'm really excited to show you all the other stuff I have to unbox as well. All right, well, I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my day. I hope you enjoy yours, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!